Okay, so we are going to begin our Asian art unit for um, fourth grade dragon Chinese dragons. And like I was saying, the most important thing that we focus on is the texture of our image. So we're trying to draw something the way it looks like it would feel. I'm going to point out the areas over here. We have some scales and then we also have some line work on the bottom and we have some nice sharp teeth. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the eye of the dragon. So the eye of the dragon over here, you can see it looks like an oval and it's going upward. So I'm going to go ahead on my paper. It's not exactly centered, it's a little bit um, higher than center, but to the left. So you guys can figure out on your paper, just above center, you're going to draw an oval shape for the eye. It's actually like a teardrop shape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw that shape for the eye. I'm going over to make it dark and then when I'm done I'm going to erase some lines. So we have the outline of our eye which is this shape right here. All of them are gonna look a little different and that's okay. That's actually good if they look a little different, especially when you guys start to add your color, it's gonna look different. So after we draw the outline, we can draw the inside of the eye. It's the same teardrop shape, it's just smaller within the eye that we drew. So this is gonna be surrounded. And then if you like, you could draw another line just for some detail. It adds some depth and texture. So I'm going to erase the lines that I didn't do a great job drawing. And if I really want to add more detail, I could add a pupil inside the eye and leave a part white for that highlight that you see when you take a photo you guys notice sometimes you have a white reflection from the light so we're gonna actually add that reflection yeah. above our eye we have a shape that um, let's see so it kind of looks like a triangle but the end of the triangle has some spikes to it. So if you draw from the beginning of the eye, we draw a shape going up like a triangle. So it's just a triangle shape. It follows that curve of the eye. And then within that triangle, we're going to add some spikes. So it's going to look like it has. Yeah. And then I can erase that line that I drew for the triangle. Yeah. If I'm going too fast, just try to keep up. And again, I'll post the video. So if you need to go back and rewatch it and draw it, it's good that we have something that um, you can always rewatch. I was hoping that everyone was um, going along, but if you haven't and you just want to watch for the first time, that's fine too. But if you are following along while drawing, that's, um, that's really good, so hopefully I'm not going too fast. Next to the piece of the eye that we just drew, there's this J shape going to the side. We're going to go ahead and copy that J shape just like that. I'm just drawing two J's and again this is for detail this is um, just to make it more decorative you can make it 3D looking by adding another line so it's double lines and now we're gonna draw the, the back of the head. So over here, this is the back of the head. I'm going to go down with my line and then I'm going to make 
a curved shape because that's where the neck starts to curve. So it's like a slight S shape, very slight. And then you can erase any lines that you've doubled and you don't need. Yeah. I When I draw, I always draw extra lines just to make sure I'm getting that curve that I want. And then I go ahead and I erase the marks that I didn't like. Yeah. So we have the back and our neck. Now I want to focus on the mouth and the nose. So we'll come back to this section a little bit later. So from the eye, from right here, the, the corner of the eye over here, we're actually going to make a U shape like this, like a smiley face almost, like a smile. And then we're gonna go up with our nose. So we're gonna draw a line This is where our nose is going to be. And then we're going to come down and we're going to start to draw our mouth. Our mouth is open, so I'm going to draw a line for the top of the mouth. And then I'm going to draw another line. You're making a V shape this time for the bottom of the mouth. The teeth are going to be later. One second. Good. So I took a look around as I was walking. I see some really nice things happening at table two and also other tables. So keep going. So we have the bottom of our mouth. Now we're going to do, it kind of looks like chin hair. So I'm just going to call it uh, the beard. Yeah. I, I know I'm not using the correct term, but that's what it looks like. So that's what we're going to call it. So those are just repeated triangles going all the way across. So they're upside down triangles. I'm going to keep drawing them. You can draw them with a curve to it. Nice little beard for our, our dragon. And then we're going to stop at that section right here because that's going to be this really pretty blue piece over here. So we're going to stop right there. And we're going to keep working with the mouth and the nose because we're going to do this section last. By the nose area where you have this curve for the nose, you're going to draw two circles, and that's going to be the nostril. So you can pick where you want to draw them. And then we have these nice curving red lines coming out of the nostrils. So it's like a J again, just two J's coming out. And then again, just like we did at the top, you can double those lines. Yeah. Above the bottom, uh, the line for the top part of the mouth. So here's the line. This is the bottom of the top, if that makes sense. So this is the top part of our mouth, but this is the bottom part of the top of the mouth. We're actually going to draw those triangle shapes again, but this time they're going to be upward. So they can go in various directions. This is going to add texture and nice color to our dragon. Bless you. And we're going to do the same thing at the bottom. This time it's going to go down again, just like our beard did. So for the bottom of the mouth, we're going to add that triangle texture. Bless you. 
Now we get to add our teeth. They can be sharp. They, you can do a lot of teeth or you can do just a few big teeth. However you would like your teeth to look. I'm gonna make mine sharp because even though the dragon is friendly and brings good fortune, I saw some photos of the dragon and they still have sharp teeth, maybe for eating. That's true, he has to scare away the enemies. That's a really good point. You've got a lot of good points today. Wait, so he's like the guardian of Jaina? Yes, you can think of him as a guardian. Oh my gosh, that looks creepy. And this. Oh, that. Behind you guys. Oh, yeah, those are more examples. Yeah, Do you those see are all creepy. the scales on those dragons? We're going to draw our scales soon. Let's do, now we can do our tongue. I didn't leave a lot of space for my tongue, so my tongue is gonna be really small. It's gonna be really thin. Uh, so you can't actually tell it's a tongue. Uh, Maybe I'll make it go down. Excuse me. Yes, Cameron. Those dragons look creepy. They look like they're looking into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> So those are actually photos from the Chinese New Year of the Dragon Dance. So if you guys want to take a look at the, the two middle ones, uh, those are dragons used in the Chinese New Year Dragon Dance. Oh, the, the marker dragons. The marker dragons? I'm yeah. The they look like they're looking into my soul. Good. Is that good or bad? Is that a good thing? That they look realistic? From this part of our mouth where we drew this design, this texture, we're gonna draw um, like almost like a double rainbow. So, but it's gonna be sideways. So it's a sideways rainbow going that way. And we're gonna do it twice. So this is the texture that we're adding. From that double rainbow that we just created, we're gonna do more flame looking lines going sideways. And this is gonna go off the dragon's face. It does. And these can be curved. And they're gonna connect back to that double dragon. I mean double rainbow. And I'm gonna make mine a little bit more pointed because I didn't like the roundness of it. And then, since I overlapped my lines here, I'm gonna erase the area that I overlapped. So, we've come a long way with our dragons. Now comes the fun part of adding the scales and adding that texture and the lines. A lot of the images that we see um, here, so this is scales over here. This section was done by using color, so we're going to hold off for that section. But we are going to draw these lines on the mouth and the nose and by our beard area. So let's start at the top by our eye. I'll demonstrate how to draw the scales. So I'm going to start at the very top, the corner the far left corner of the eye. And I'm gonna draw each scale one at a time. So it comes down like a teardrop and then goes back up. So you're really, you're making um, a V shape. Yeah, U, it's like a U and a V combined. So you're gonna repeat that shape multiple times and do you see how I'm making like I did one in the middle and then I did some on the side I'm um, spacing them out and I'm just doing one at a time and I'm covering all of my blank white space and I'm gonna stop once I get to where the mouth starts to open so right where the mouth is, I'm going to stop right there. 
And then on the part by the nose, I'm actually just going to do lines going down. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the nose. So now our dragon's starting to have lots of texture. By our beard, we're going to draw lines as well. So same thing, just drawing lines dividing the beard. And then the last thing we're going to draw is the scales on the side here. This uh, We're going to skip this section. This is all going to be colored. So this nice flame looking piece is not going to have scales. But the scales are going around it. So we're going to keep drawing those one at a time. And then I'm going to skip that part where it looks like it's a flame. I'm going to go around it. If you want to make them bigger as you go down, you can. And then I'm not done yet because in each of these scales, I'm actually going to draw a smaller scale. So within each of the ones I just drew, just to add even more texture, I'll draw a smaller one inside. And then we're done with our drawing, and we can outline it in black marker. So this is going to add to the texture of the scale. It's going to make it look very detailed. Excuse me? Yes. These are actually a little bit more of a V shape than a U shape. So I'm making them dragon? very pointed. You see that big dragon over there? Which one? Like the biggest one? Like the one with the sharper teeth? Like not that one. Right? Yes, I do see it. Like the one by its in the middle? Yes. He looks pretty. He looks like he's mean. The other two, like up there and down there. Like Besides that dragon, those two look nice and that one looks mean. Looks mean? Uh-huh. Those two, one, that, one door, that one up there and that one over there. Like, that one? Yeah, they look nice. One last detail that I'm going to point out. So this is the, I, I won't add anything else. Right here by the eye. There's a circle, there's a circle above. If you guys want to add circles in your dragon, you can. Just for that added detail. So if you want to add over here, you can add some circles. You can do that. It's a choice. The way you guys color them is going to make it pop out. I do want everyone to use red because red is a part of... Um, China. the Chinese New Year. So that's the end of our dragon drawing. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and stop.